As we mentioned, we had a major event um, on Sunday from Anna, as you saw the news that day. You know, soaking wet, as it says, you know, in Manoa, where I've lived, got over 10 inches, and other parts of this, uh, this urban core got almost seven inches. And so it all poured down into our sewage system through leaks and also people doing illegal things and processing, um, putting in flow into areas they should not have. And we had a huge spike in inflow in these channels that um, just overflowed our system that was partly under construction and it was something that we had to do and it just couldn't handle the volume of water. So we had 20 million gallons of sewage that dumped into the gallery below the these clarifiers, which are basically eight systems that are used to collect water and sludge and then to get it treated. So it overflowed in, into this basement area where all electrical panels were, for the most part, shorted out the panels, caused a fire, and then uh, shut down our entire system. And when the generator for Cinegro, which is the second part of our system, kicked in, it got shorted out because of rainwater leaking in. And then the entire system was shut down for the most part, except in the beginning and the end part. We had a major, major problem. And initially, it looked like it was going to be a week before getting we pumped the water out to 20 million gallons and pump it back into these clarifiers where it could be processed. We did it within, within 24 hours. The good news today is if we go down there, all the gallery has been power washed, it's cleaned, and um, we're moving forward in the next step. And the next step is to get electricity returned to these different clarifiers so we can start uh, processing things like we did prior to the outage. And here's, here's where we are at the, at the current time. The good news here is on clarifiers 7 and 8, we've replaced the motors. Now, there are pumps down below that help pump this stuff, the, the, the sludge, down. Um, we replaced the motors, and we're going to fire them up later today. And we believe they will start, and that's going to be very good news. Then we are working also to get these two, these two, right? Four and, four, and four, and four and six, also are powered up by the end of the day, but no later than tomorrow. Which means we'd have four, three, yeah, four clarifiers up and running. We only need three at any given time. These two are down because they're being worked on. This one is partially worked, and this is a holdover where we put, if we have additional capacity, we put um, wastewater in here. Right now, this is where we're pumping our wastewater into, these two. So once we get power up here, we will be back pretty much to where we were prior to the problem. We also have this thing called gravity thickener. So after the sludge is pumped from the bottom of here, it is pumped into here, where it gets more water is taken out. As you know, it's very, there's a lot of water. We take the water out, take the water out. Here's a process where we're taking more water out. It's becoming thicker. We have replaced the motors here underground again, flooded with six to eight feet of wastewater. We've replaced the engines in those battery in, in those pumps, and we're gonna have them fired up by the end of today. And we can start taking the sludge from the clarifiers into here, getting it, taking water out, and then getting it over to the Cinegro. This is the Cinegro part. So Cinegro, as you know, lost power too. As of last night, they had power back on. Um, they're generate, we're using generation power. Um, from large, massive generators that we brought in. And the very good news is that everything is being processed, processed and we're making pellets once again. Now, something that we joke about, but it's very serious, is in this egg, as we call it, is a microbial community. It's the, it's the bugs that break down the sludge and make it better so we can then turn it into pellets. And if they aren't happy, bad things start to happen and they need warmth, warm water, and they need more sludge, and they were getting very sick when we had the power outage. I've been told that with the, with the generator back on and putting hot water back in there, they're becoming much more happy, they're hungry, and they're eating. And that's a good thing for the rest of us. So I want to keep our microbial community in good spirits and happy. And I'm happy to know that they got the power, and that is working once again.